Ministry of External Affairs, as Gaurav said, has reacted on the BBC documentary on Prime Minister Modi. It says, if anything, this film or documentary is a reflection on the agency and individuals that are peddling this narrative again. It makes us wonder about the purpose of this exercise and the agenda behind it. Frankly, we don't wish to dignify such efforts. A sharp reaction there from the External Affairs Ministry. India, therefore, through this statement, has officially slammed the BBC documentary. We think this is a propaganda piece designed to push a particular discredited narrative. The bias, lack of objectivity and continuing colonial mindset is blatantly visible, says the External Affairs Ministry on this BBC documentary. A particular discredited narrative and not, you know, not surprisingly, being raised in uh, British Parliament by a Pakistan origin member of Parliament, Imran Hussain. No surprises there. But Geeta, very sharp statement coming in from the External Affairs Ministry. Absolutely, Shiv. Uh, the fact that they're questioning the timing, the content of the uh, documentary, it's not going to be aired in, in India. It has not been aired. Uh, but the reports that they've got is not just to, uh, not just to do with the fact that the documentary has been made, but also the former foreign secretary of uh, the UK, Jack Straw, in the documentary talking about how at the time they were trying to investigate uh, into uh, uh, Gujarat riots ship and to that, uh, Ministry of External Affairs spokesperson uh, Arindam Bakshi has said that what were diploma uh, diplomats doing over here? That this is colonial mindset if they are investigating a matter that's internal to a country. Uh, they're not supposed to do that. There were diplomats over here not sending back reports. But he spoke about investigating. So a question on the terms of uh, like investigation and inquiry being used by Jack Straw in that documentary certainly uh, is something that uh, India has also uh, 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 not just concerned about but also has raised in many ways. And uh, the government and the establishment certainly will be taking up the matter with the UK authorities. As of now, they have not confirmed that or they have not even uh, put out a statement to do with that. But Shiv, this is something that is serious because uh, a, a sitting government of the time was, uh, according to Jack Straw, was investigating into the riots. Okay, in, in investigating into the riots. Uh, you know, the, 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 the choice of words in this statement, Geeta, you know, the colonial mindset, discredited narrative, uh, uh, you know, this is an official statement from the External Affairs Ministry. Are there going to be any repercussions or have Prime Minister Sunak's uh, comments uh, pretty much ended it from at least the UK's side? Well, uh, there certainly is going to be a certain amount of ramification with regards to how it is viewed, like you said, in the yeah. UK Parliament. There are lobbies. There are uh, people from certain camps who would raise the matter, uh, rake up the issue all over again. And if that happens, it will certainly have ramifications on uh, how India is going to deal with it and take it up with the UK authorities. Meanwhile, the Indian mission in uh, London has already gone through the entire documentary and in certain ways would have raised concerns with regards to then government looking into the matter and Jack Straw, particularly then Foreign Secretary's statements, Shiv. But uh, unprecedented in terms of the uh, manner in which India has responded, the Ministry of External Affairs has responded to the documentary and the uh, clarity with which they have actually come out and called it a propaganda and false narrative.